is Christmas Eve today. I'm gonna make some lumpia with my mom, um, which those of you who are not familiar with lumpia or those of you who are not uh, familiar with Filipino food, it is the Philippines version of a spring roll, you know, like those fry or egg roll, I guess you could say. That's what we're gonna do today. I just took a shower, just did my skincare, and now I'm gonna do my makeup. First of all, I would like to point out uh, that my eyebrows are not done because I'm trying to grow them out. I haven't gotten my eyebrows done professionally since before the pandemic, and I figured now would be a great time to go ahead and do that. So I am trying to not pluck until my appointment. <laughs> this bottle's so dirty. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation. This has been my go-to foundation for probably like the past two years. It's just like perfectly my color and I like that it's not too dewy and it's not too matte. Radiant Creamy Concealer. I feel like I've shared this tip on my channel quite a few times before, but if you have oily eyelids, best thing to do is to use an eye primer and then set it with a translucent powder. I learned that trick from a makeup artist that I work with and it really keeps those oily lids at bay. <laughs> I'm gonna take my glossy brow flick, create some hair strokes in the front just to make it look a little bit more natural. Mario lip pencil, sorry, ultra suede sculpting lip pencil in the color Kelly. I'm going to use a new lipstick today. Uh, this is by Violet. She has a YouTube channel and I love her YouTube channel, but I guess she just came out with some makeup. So that's what I'm gonna use. getting my nails removed today. I had a lot of videos that I was trying to like ideate and like write the script for yesterday and I couldn't do it efficiently because my nails are too long. <laughs> I just literally cannot type with these. So I'm going into the nail salon today to get these removed. They look beautiful, but they are not functional, at least not for me. Quick little outfit of the day and uh, let's roll. So I went to Rite Aid to pick up a prescription before my nail appointment. And I went to a Rite Aid that that's in a very nice neighborhood in Long Beach. This is, it's a very expensive neighborhood in Long Beach. And that was the jankiest Rite Aid I have ever been to. I'm perplexed. <laughs> it was so dirty in there. It was so crowded. There were like boxes all over the place. The floor was dirty and I, 
I went at like 1130 in the morning. In the morning, that place should be clean as hell. It should be spick and span. It was disgusting. Anyway, uh, I got my birth control. Yay! Today's Tuesday. Because it's all about authenticity. We want to destigmatize birth control. See? Yeah. So thank you so much <laughs> for asking that question mm -hmm. for everyone. Yes. Yeah. I'm finally free. I can now type. I can write with a pen. Cause I couldn't even write. Like I couldn't even hold my pen correctly cause my nails are so long. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Lifted off my hands, literally. Oh, I just realized I only did this on Instagram. I didn't show you guys um, on the vlog yet, but I kind of like reconfigured my room. So if you remember, this desk used to be right here in the middle. And the reason why I moved it over to this side is because my desk was kind of like obstructing the view too much. And it's like a beautiful view. It's like part of the reason why my rent is so high. <laughs> so I moved it over a little bit and then I put my printer over here in this filing cabinet. This used to be over on this side and it was just obstructing the, be the view, like the beautiful view. So I moved it to this side and then um, I'm gonna have all of the wires go underneath the desk and go over here because the outlet is right there. So everything should be looking a lot cleaner when I decide to actually do that, <laughs> that job. And then I put, uh, this actually used to be over here in this little corner and it was kind of awkward because it was right next to the desk and you couldn't pull the drawers out all the way. So I just moved it over here and this is a much better place to put it. It looks way better. And it would be really nice to have this as a background of my sit down videos. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really loving that. And then the bed. I don't remember if I put this in the vlog, but my bed frame finally came in. This is from West Elm, I believe. It's boucle. I love it. It's so nice. And it's a lot higher than my other bed frame. The only reason why um, I gave that bed frame to my mom is because it was too low and I wanted a bed frame that was that sat the bed a little bit higher. So I love this. And then you guys have seen this in my other apartment. This is like a, tra a vintage travertine side table. This used to be in the living room. I was using it as like a coffee table, but it's really supposed to be a side table. So I put it right here and then we have uh, some decor items right here. The bedroom is still very much a work in progress. Oh, I put uh, the chair right here. It used to be right here. It just makes more sense to be over here because the view is really nice. It's like a really nice like little nook where I can read or like, you know, plan my iPad or whatever. Uh, but yeah, everything is very much a work in progress. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. Um, I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon for my bathroom because my next project <laughs> is this bathroom and closet. It's just like, I've been putting this off way too long. It's time to finally get into it. Ugh. I don't wanna do it, but it has to be done. Anyway, um, I'm going to go on my laptop right now. I want to go on Pinterest. I wanna like, you know, write my goals and stuff for the year. I tried to do that last week, but my nails were just too long. I couldn't type. So now that I'm finally free, um, I can finally get on like making my vision board, like what I want my plans and vibes for the next year to be. I'm very excited. I love this time of the year. It feels like a, a fresh slate, you know, but let's go. I got uh, a package. I got a key fob from the Tesla store. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Shit. 
Anyway, I got a key fob from the Tesla store because, um, so really you're just supposed to use your phone as a key, but in case you need to, like in case your phone dies or you need to valet your car, they give you two key cards to use for that purpose. Like to, it's literally like a credit card that you just use to open the car door and to start the car. But uh, I went to a car wash and I couldn't find my key card. <laughs> so I'm not gonna leave them my phone. So um, I was like, what do I do? <laughs> so uh, I had to drive all the way back home to get the key card and uh, that was not fun. So I just ordered a um, key fob so that that doesn't happen again. Um, I have no idea how to open this, but just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> Just because I know people are going to be asking, this is from Ikea, this little pegboard here. All right, y'all, it's time to tackle this. I'm tired of looking at it and I'm tired of going in my closet and not being able to get anywhere because there's nowhere to walk. <laughs> Let's go. And my mom's here to help me. Getting my eyebrows done professionally for the first time in, uh, since before the pandemic. So I grew out my eyebrows. They look terrible right now, but hopefully after this appointment, they'll look fantastic. <laughs> this is my first time getting um, a, like a brow lamination and a brow tint. So we'll see how that goes. Also, I'm breaking out because I haven't been taking care of my skin. I should go get a facial. That's what I should do. I'm gonna make an appointment. <laughs> natural it looks like it doesn't look crazy wow oh my gosh how exciting I'm gonna do my hair real quick it is uh New Year's Day I would take a shower and wash my hair but I just got my brows laminated so you can't really do that you can't get your brows wet for at least 24 hours so the vlog here folks this is my last vlog of 2021 but fear not uh, I do have some really exciting videos planned for the month of January but for now let's enjoy the holiday season let's you know rest let's reset and I will see you guys next year where we will get our lives together glow up diaries is coming back and we're just really going to get it together next year okay okay you hear that everyone <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, not only this video, but like all the videos from this crazy year. Uh, I really appreciate you guys and I really appreciate, you know, every time you like my video, every time you comment on my video. It really lets me know that I'm fulfilling my purpose on this platform. So thank you guys so much for everything. Have a happy new year and I will see you guys in 2022. Get ready.